Hey guys, I recently filmed a video of my top favorite nude lipsticks and that was a really fun video for me to film and also I had a lot of good feedback as well and I thought it would be fun to continue on and do my favorite three bright pink lipsticks, my favorite three plum purple lipsticks, and then maybe last like my favorite red lipstick. So today let's get started with my top three favorite pink lipsticks. My absolute favorite lip ever is a bright pink, a deep pink, something with a lot of pigment. I love it. Jared constantly compliments me if I'm wearing a lip like this. I get a lot of compliments from you guys and I definitely have gotten a lot of comments the past few weeks because the last time I did a haul I showed a few lipsticks and those happen to be in my top three favorites. I've been wearing them non-stop, I love them. Let's get started with my first favorite. The first lipstick that I'm gonna talk about is a balm stain, and it is from Revlon, and it is a Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this does not last compared to some lipsticks all day, but like it says, it is a balm stain, so after the shininess wears off, you you still have that stain but it is not something that lasts from morning to night but this is this has always been one of my favorite lipsticks the past few summers I've been wearing this lipstick like crazy and I think that it's really pretty it's a very soft kind of raspberry color the next two lipsticks that I'm gonna talk about I use a lip liner with it and it is the NYX hot pink lip liner and I have fallen in love with NYX lip liners I think that they are wonderful I don't have very many of them I have like a nude a pink and then this bright pink but regardless I use this lip liner first and then I go over it with this lipstick that is called dollhouse pink and this lipstick is really pretty it is kind of like a really bright fuchsia pink and it kind of has a undertone of, of uh, purple it is just really pretty I get a lot of compliments on this this lipstick the wet and wild lipstick I kind of compared it as it is a drying lipstick like your lips need to be moisturized but then again the lipstick itself when you're applying it it is creamy so it's kind of a mix between <laughs> drying and creamy. If you really don't like dry lipsticks, you really won't like these. But I don't have an issue with it because I make sure my lips have um, lip balm on it first and then I apply this. And these last all day. Like half of it wears off onto my son because I'm kissing him, but really, it lasts all day. I think that this is a wonderful combo. This last lipstick is the one that I am wearing today and I saved the best for last. This is my all time favorite and it actually kind of looks like the first one but it is deeper, it is more pigmented and it does last all day. And again, I apply it with the NYX lip liner and then the shade is called Don't Blink Pink and this is my favorite lipstick. I, I wear this constantly, I have a lot of compliments on it, I just think it is a really fun lipstick for summer. And then lastly, I don't always compare, lastly I don't always compare it with a lip gloss, but if I do, it's this Revlon lip gloss, and it is in the shade Pink Pop. And what I've noticed about this lip gloss is I really feel like it's kind of just clear, like if, I, if you were to use it on your own, there's no way, there's no way that it would be like that pink. It's it's kind of just clear with a, a little like a light bit of pink. I'm stuttering all over my words. But um, I do like to pair this with those Wet n Wild lip gloss. But I do like to pair this with the Wet n Wild lipsticks just because it does add a little bit more shine because those can tend to be a little bit more drying. But that is my top three favorite pink lipsticks. I had one more that I didn't swatch on my lips and stuff because really it is so comparable to everything else I am wearing. But it is from MAC and it is called Lickable. And it again is a very bright pink. It, it kind of looks like what I'm wearing today but maybe a little more deeper and not pink. Maybe more on the borderline red, red color but I'll swatch it right here for you just so you can see it but 
it really is similar to what I wear and I, I, it didn't make my top three because I don't pull for it that much but that's what it looks like that's the lickable and Mac but I don't pull for that as much so I didn't add it but that is another option if you guys wanted to know but thank you so much for watching this video I've been having a lot of fun with these like series that I've been doing so I'm excited to do the purple lipsticks next so thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video bye guys